all right farmers welcome back to the channel so today we're going to have a look at the bakery so if you've seen all the other production chain videos so far this is the culmination of all them put together because the bakery particularly for strawberry cakes needs loads of stuff from them so what you're going to need to run the bakery if you're doing cakes that is you're going to need a sugar mill you're going to need a grain mill you are going to need eggs from the chickens you are going to need strawberries from your greenhouses and you are going to need butter from your dairy so we've got all that set up here so first off we're going to go into the bakery so I've placed this one down just to get everything nice and close by obviously on Elm Creek here there is one on the base map but just for easiness of this video we've put it all next door to each other so we'll go into the production menu and we're going to start off with bread so that's asking for two flour to one bread so what I'm going to do I'm going to jump in my little forklift truck here and we're going to go load in two pallets of flour all right so I've already loaded one in so this is going to be the second so all you need to do is take it over to that unload icon and just hold it in place like that and it takes it off the pallet just like that okay so that's the flour in for the bread so we'll click on that make sure the bread's running so it's now going to be storing out the front as with all the other production chains you have got the option of storing so it puts it on pallets out the front you got selling so it sells directly but you do take a 35 percent hit on the actual price you get at the end of it and you've also got distributing now i've said in the past that distributing unless it's got a further chain for it to go to just disappears but according to some of the comments in the videos that we've done so far it doesn't it holds it in the factory until you're ready to put it out on pallets again so if that's true great but what we're going to do we're going to store it anyway out the front and we'll see what we got so i'm going to fast forward this bit now once it gets processed and we'll see what the pallets look like at the end so i'll see you in a bit right so we fast forwarded one month because i'm playing on one month days and we've got a pallet of bread there we are ready for you to make a sandwich with so we've got there 1000 liters of bread and it's also got 14 litres still in the bakery so that is excellent now having a look at this if we just sold the flour itself bearing in mind that the price fluctuates throughout the year we would have made 4052 off those 2000 litres that we put in but this pallet this bread pallet here it's got a high price of 5382 so we'd have made 1300 more 1330 to be precise more by putting it through the bakery that's just off of 2000 liters of flour now if we'd have sold the grain itself and we put oats in this we'd have sold that for 1574 so that's even more that's what's that like that's like three and a half grand more by putting it through the grain mill over there and then putting it through the bakery so upscaling is definitely a thing definitely a well worth it with the money making side right so what i'm going to do i'll move that out of the way and we're going to get everything loaded in that we need to make the cakes so i'll see you in a bit
Right, so that's the last of the pallet stuff put in. So, what we're going to need to do now, just to finish off the recipe, is put in some milk. So we've got this tanker here. As the same with the pallets, all you need to do is just go over the onload point. And it'll give you the prompt. Like so. So we'll start loading in the milk. And then we can get cracking with making some strawberry cakes. There we are. So that's finished. So we'll back that out of the way. We'll go into the menu. So it's saying... For the recipe to make the cakes, we need two flour, two sugar, two milk, two eggs, two butter, two strawberry, and that will give us five cakes. So we've put in more than enough of that recipe to give us one pallet of cakes. So I'll fast forward this bit and we'll come back to a pallet of cakes. So I'll see you in a bit. Right, so we're back at the bakery and we've got some cake. I had to fast forward two months because I actually forgot to turn the bakery on to make the cake. So there's a top tip, don't forget to turn it on. So what we've got here, we've got two pallets, they're 400 litres each. And they're lovely strawberry cakes. I do like a bit of strawberry cake. So obviously it hasn't used the full amount of the recipe that we put in or the product. But I have done a bit of maths. So if we just sold the original crop that we put in, the, the base element of it all, we would have made 23,145. If we then put it through its various production chains elements, we would have made 28,096. But if we had sold, this is based on the recipe, so if we put 2,000 each of in, and then we get 5,000 cakes out, we would have made 53,655 from the cakes. So that is a profit of over the base crop of 30,510 and over the produced crop, shall we say, of 25,559. So like the bread, it does pay you to put it through the production chains. Obviously upscaling your, your projects is going to pay out at the end of it. Obviously it is more labour intensive, you have got more stuff to do, especially with loading pallets and maybe it would be easier once a auto load trailer for pallets comes out as a mod, but still, it's fun doing it, you know, you get cracking, that forklift truck's pretty good, the, uh, the Jung Heinrich one, but yeah, excellent, nice tidy bit of profit off of that. Right, so that's the bakery, and that is the last of the production chains. So drop it in the comments below. Are you thinking of using any of them? Are you thinking of using the bakery? If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It's much appreciated. But for me, that's it for today, and I'll see you in the next one.